Caution pedestrians. This is an un oh, 25. So the sheriff has to uh, patrol in the unincorporated uh, village. Unincorporated along the along the lake. How they can uh, maintain a lack of power. That means if it's unincorporated, they got no no rules, no ordinances. So a business could come in at any point and, and just set up shop and not have to worry about any rules. Unincorporated, and you can see the water from here. Speed limit's 25. It's just a county controlled region. <clears throat> State park entrance, they don't say there's a fee, but there always is. At the very least, I could drive through. That's what, uh, you know, that's what I'm, I'm, I see I can do. Why does it say I got to take a right? That's, uh-oh, that's not good. Don't make me take a right. I saw on Google Maps, uh, I didn't exactly plot it perfectly, but Google Maps, I saw the road to go left, to turn left. But it looks like Garmin wants me to take a right. Then do some kind of weird turnaround. I got to check this out. Yep. Do some kind of weird turnaround. Oh, I see. I'm backtracking. That's weird. Okay. I actually, that was my manual change to the directions. I passed the point where I said I wanted to turn somehow. Whatever. It's, that's, that's not a point I need to hit. So I'm going to have to make some changes. Okay, this will be my left. Okay, so the directions on Garmin are going to get a little screwy now. I got to just reset it. No outlet straight ahead. That looks so cool though up ahead. It's the water, but I just I I know that they're charging money. So discharge of firearms restricted by the town board. Some kind of flashing light up ahead. Okay, I reset. I see the water. I see Lake Michigan on my right now. The weather feels stable and feels nice. And I, I know it's from the water. It's a stinky cow farm on my left. Flashing lights, really stinky. Big manure pile. Wow, they might feel more comfortable having a larger manure pile next to the water like this. It's very, you could notice that smell. That flashing light is just moving down the road. On a 45 road, 620 elevation. <clears throat> yeah, this is pretty neat. I bet people bicycle these, this type of route. Because <laughs> I'm kind of going through the, the state park a little bit here. It feels like there's adequate moisture in the air. Doesn't feel too humid. This is where you want a vacation home in the summertime is along the lake of Lake Michigan. Or just any part of the Great Lake. I'll have to see. I mean, I'm very curious about actual Michigan side. If there's much of a, a difference in the feel. A lot of turnouts that go straight to the water. And I probably could do that. And maybe not uh, come across any major trouble. I just, I look on the map, I see State Park, and I see problems with that. <laughs> Nobody's behind me. Carol's Dairy Equipment. All right, do a various dairy services around here. Probably a nice job to have in this area. Oh, no, country, nice lush area. There's just not a spot of brown anywhere. It's just all nice and green. And it feels like there's a little cloud cover. The sun doesn't seem so invasive. 
That's what I partly think too. I think there might be a low cloud cover from that's uh, brought by the lake. There's there's a chance on that. There's definitely clouds way up high, but maybe kind of a fog or a mist. It feels it feels like there's more of a foggy mist. All right, it might be a clear sky, but there's a foggy mist. That's not that thick. Maybe it's thicker up in the air, not thick on the ground. Not a low-lying fog. But the, it, it just it looks slightly darker around here. And that's seriously going to affect the weather. Something is, something is protecting from the sun in this spot. And I bet if I went 5 to 10 miles straight west, I would lose this, uh, this protection. I'm not sure. I mean, you know, San Francisco got cloudy. You'd notice the weather difference within 5 to 10 miles of being outside it. Just being on the coast in general. So these, you know, I'm guessing that there's a good chance, even though they're in the country-like settings, these houses are nice and they're not cheap. Just choose any house and you're going to be paying. No, And the Amish gets squeezed out of these areas. <laughs> I don't know what this truck is doing exactly. He's, he's just got to drive slow and it's hard to say why. But it's it's my kind of pace. I'm down for this speed. I got 1.2 miles following this flashy truck. Oh, they're making a stop and taking a left. Okay. But they have to make a complete stop. Crazy. They got a big tank. Are they? That looks like a mosquito abatement. It looks like a big tank, and then that's uh, some kind of funnel thing sh that would shoot out a mist behind it. I think they're chem I think they're chemically spraying this area with that thing. Wow. Well, then, yeah, they, they are putting out chemicals to kill the bugs. Because I don't know what else that thing would be doing. By the looks, by the way, it looks. And I, I don't know. Oh, here, I can see the checkered flag already. Yeah, I was sweating and hot in my car yesterday. I have a feeling if I'm allowed to just relax here next to the water, I have a feeling that it'll be pretty decent. I have a feeling I don't even need, I probably won't even need to cover my roof at all. There's just a slight shade of darkness. I mean, I just have to stop and feel. Driving always cools me down a lot more. That might be a 10, 15 degree difference with, uh, with the wind. Okay, uh, right here, they got a sign. And I, I specifically chose the nature area, not the state park. Amsterdam Dooms Preservation Area. All right, all right, dead end. And it looks like we could park here. Do I want to park there? Uh, did did I? I think I saw parking closer to the water. But uh, that's an option, too. Let me, oh, oh, truck's coming in. Okay. I just want to take my time. Private land on the right. Okay. <clears throat> Stop ahead. I mean, I, I marked this. I could park right there on the side of the road. I could park right there. Oh, that's private, probably. No parking anytime. Uh-oh. That means I got problems with parking if people are parking on the side of the road around here. Private road, no trespassing, keep out. Oh, my God. Okay, that's for that road, right? Private road right there. Amsterdam Park. Swim, blah, blah, blah. I don't see any cost. I see a ton of cars. There is a boat launch. The weather feels good. I, I, uh, I'm not sure about my shade. 
issues, but uh, I'll uh, I'll try this tree. I think maybe no, no, no. This this would be this will give me shade later right here. Amsterdam Dunes Preservation Area. Amsterdam Dunes Preservation Area, Wisconsin. Right, in an effort to avoid the highway, I'll be taking a little, little bit of a longer route. Oh, the mosquitoes, it got bad. Hot day. I seek shelter from the sun in the shade over here, but the mosquitoes seek shade too. They know people like to hang out in the shade. And so I think I got a few bites. I think I got a few bites. Hard to avoid. I'm going to follow Garmin suggestions, which I, I programmed in to uh, avoid the uh, highway. Got to drive a little bit further for that. That guy's, that guy's driving a little aggressive towards the center. All right. Oh, not in a big rush to get to Walmart. But yeah, pretty much I pass underneath the highway. Just take some back roads. I'm kind of interested. There's some Best Buy that's across the street from Walmart. And oh my God, I should have dumped out the contents of this. I'm going to just toss it here. Okay. I have not cleaned out that pot, but I really don't have any great water source for cleaning it anyway. I should have let it dry out more. Things rot so much easier, so much faster in the, in the heat. Whatever I cook, I have to eat right away now. It's in that time frame. Once I grab it, cook it fast, eat it fast. The problem is that my appetite is reduced in the heat as well. So I got to deal with that. What's that guy doing? Got two dogs. Two dogs. Okay. I go past this intersection. And this is a screwy one. I'm not able to see very easily on my right side. So I got to curve to the right a little bit so I can see. Because of my netting. Okay, I can see. I don't know the speed exactly, but all right, nobody. 35, okay. Yeah, I'm not in a rush to get to that Walmart. So it could be a 70 highway for all I know. I don't need that. We got a town. Cedar Grove population 2,115. Pretty good size. They're going to be a little higher size. I think that's a cop up there. He's watching the speed limits at Cedar Grove, maybe front and back. There's two cars. Yeah, it looks like it should be a cop. <sighs> In uh, South Main Street. Yeah, this, okay. So, we're, yeah, 2,000 people. They'll have some city police for 2,000 people. All village streets from ten, 2 to 6. No parking. <clears throat> so, I think there were dates to 30 through here. They gave them a big bicycle lane <laughs> as wide as the driving lane. <clears throat> That's very generous. Oh, the heat. Yeah, just a steady wind at 30 is very welcoming. It's a little too much at 55, 60, 65. Three rabbits. Three good-sized wild rabbits just running. Did I spook them? So I'm trying to practice more periodic exercise now. Did some push-ups and squats, more squats and push-ups. <sighs> Try to break up my sitting. I gotta clean my clothes more. Uh, 
train tracks. Oh man. All right. So I got. Oh, it's a little rough. A little rough. Seven point six miles. This this route. Big windmill. Yeah, these people are. This does not look like a slum. This does not look ghetto-y at all. See, this this is the real Wisconsin. Closer to the the Great Lake. Not like the Wisconsin I lived in. I was more Minnesota than Wisconsin, being on the west half. Pet Museum. All green and... all right yeah it's a lot of uh a lot of good shaped buildings well maintained and all that 30 down the road bicycling in the center of the the lane I, this doesn't look like an area that has a lot of bicyclers Kind of rare to see them. I've the the largest port largest uh con, like groups of uh bicyclers I've ever seen was in California. They cycle in groups, large groups. You don't see that anywhere else. I've never seen it anywhere else. San Francisco. San Francisco, pretty much. Oh, 55. All right. Cuff them, Crime Stoppers. Your anonymous tip may be worth up to a thousand dollars. Cuffthem.com. Sheboygan Falls, eleven. I thought I was going to Sheboygan. Is that is that two separate cities? And it's fifty five thirty on the curve. Well then. Grain storage. <laughs> Downtown Manitoba. All right, I guess we'll back up to fifty five. Not, not, not. Uh, uh, not happy about 55. I do have somebody following me a little bit. All right, I got through the agriculture area. We're in a little livestock region. I smell it. So, yeah, milk cows. Yeah, it's a little tight for them. They just live in their mud, their mud enclosures. Pack them in tight so they get all extra smelly. Disappointing to see that. That's why I choose only grass milk. I don't like that standard milk anymore. I'm done with it. I want to pay for uh, grass milk a little extra for the higher quality and, and hopefully the cows get treated a little bit better. You know, that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping the chickens get treated better and the cows get treated better, paying a little extra for the, the ones that can graze more. farmland out here lots of it I got a probably a mile and a half away from the lake I don't know why I had to come over this way so much I did see a road that was closer to the lake they definitely don't have any roads along the lake they may have at one time that would be interesting chart the old roads I don't know why they wouldn't have a road along the lake back in the old days. I guess now it's not as necessary. 
California tried it until uh, earthquakes and landslides knocked over, well, like trains along the lake or the ocean. You don't want to have roads next to, too close to lakes. I mean, clearly this, this Great Lake has a, a tide that rises and falls. I would expect that the rise and, and fall just as much as uh, an ocean. I mean, it's, it's directly connected. Yeah, lots of farms. I got three miles for something. Probably a roundabout. Onion River. Yeah, the bunnies can get pretty big around here, but not nearly the size of a jackrabbit, which is a small, like a small deer. There's just no open spaces to really go for a long romp like a, a jackrabbit rabbit can. Woodsy areas are not friendly for jackrabbits. They, they have a preference for temperate deserts. They look... I saw him, I saw a jackrabbit in South Utah. They're rare to see, but they're out there. I need a light, a large, wide territory to, to roam around. Trump Pence. A lot of the farmers, they want to promote Trump and continue. <laughs> They've been... They've been promoting Trump since uh, 2020, since 2019. Just carries over. I didn't catch what name of city this is. That's an old time gas station. Thirty-five. Ooh, downshifted kind of hard. <laughs> Get wild about Jesus. Yeah, no rush. You're living pretty good on the east side of Wisconsin. And I've never visited the east side of Wisconsin. Ever, ever. So it's been a, it's always... It's a curiosity to me, just to want to look and see. And I mean, I have seen with Milwaukee and a few other cities already. And I'm jealous. We should have lived, I should have grew up in East, East Wisconsin instead. I'm a little jealous. You can only live so many places. I mean, look where Abraham Lincoln lived in the middle of Illinois. That was kind of a desolate area where he grew up where he grew up, so not everybody famous or not gets uh the the pick of the the landscape. And it's not like I'm sticking around here anyway. I don't know where I could stay for a longer period of time. Yeah. Stayed in Milwaukee for a week just to wait on court issues. Yeah. Now I'm out. Okay, it's probably 55, yep, 55. Nobody's behind me. They're all taking the highway. Three, four, five, six, seven, seven silos. And then they got cows too, dairy cows. Green, green, loose gravel. Green silos and dairy cows. I'll sniff. I don't smell anything, but farm-raised beef. Those are beef cows? Oh, yeah. I don't see any udders. Wow. These guys. Oh, wow. These brown cows are eating good grass, and they're, they're milkables, but they might be breeders more than milkers. All right. It stinks here. Yeah. That farmer's... Uh, that farmer's uh, 
put too many cows in the pet in a, on his property. If it starts to stink, I mean, there should be some regulation against that. Farmers get carried away. They get carry. They get too carried away. I don't know the regulation, but I mean, you shouldn't have it stinking like that. Manure all piled up in too small of an area. The cows got to deal with that. That can't be good for the cows. I got a left. Yeah, I wonder, can I keep up the habits? of doing a few lunges every time I step out of the car. I would just get out and walk. Oh no, not another angled. This is all way though? Okay, okay, that works, that works. At least I have to stop. Christmas tree? All right, I'm lifting. People, you got a bar? Okay. Yeah, just to improve my circulation. I've already noticed an improvement in my bicycling. Bicycling was my sole source of exercise and I was really getting winded way too much. So since I started doing more lunges, I don't get winded bicycling. So I think I'll, I'd rather do the training uh, for bicycling than, than make bicycling the training. Wow, this is kind of a neat area. The road is smooth, as as discolored as it is. The bumps are roadkill. That's an old house. Old style, old look. They got mowed grass. Looks unused, abandoned. The barn's certainly abandoned. Or a small shed. Yeah, they're mowing it. Somebody, they're living in that? Yeah, they're sitting out in front. They're sitting in front of that thing. It looks old. A yellow brick. You don't see any brick barns. Well, you kind of do. At least the lower half. All right, I got a roundabout here. That's my turn. And then I'll learn how much longer I got to go here. A couple of major industries of some back up to 55. Okay. 1.1 miles now. Okay. All right. Uh, I think I'll stop at this Best Buy and have a look. I, I'm not too enthused about going to Walmart right away. I was thinking that, oh my god, I can't turn there. What is that? That wasn't a turn. I thought I could just turn right there. See, the uh, there's a, a tractor central, you know, uh, that tends, tractor supply that tends to have good Wi-Fi, so I'll park closer to them. Man, this Best Buy has only got four cars. Oh, that's bright. All right, I just want to admit that the uh, employee at... Director Central acted a little concerned about my car. He doubled back to get close to it, but I was away from my car when he did that. And uh, I walked around this area a little bit, and I see that I can park on the side roads. I don't want to. I don't want to have him call the cops on me to turn around and say that I'm parked on private property. I'll just park on the side of the road. It's got no no truck no parking signs. The best the cop can do is claim that the road is private a private road. And that's what I'll be challenging. But uh, yeah, I just want to get over to it. This is just this little dead end road. And they took the stop sign off. I'll just park here. I mean I could go over to the Walmart, but I just don't really feel like it. I like the privacy of parking on the side of the road. Okay.
Village of Kohler, Wisconsin. Village of Kohler, Wisconsin. All right, I spent the whole day yesterday here just hanging out. I have Wi-Fi with uh, Tractor Central. Take the first left. But uh, part of the day in the morning, I was feeling a little sick in the stomach. I'm trying to reduce uh, the types of foods I eat for relief. I think it's diet related. Mm, I feel just a slight sickness this morning. Usually my sickness comes in the evening or afternoon. So my timing is, then take the is off. Because in the afternoon, the evening, yesterday, I was, my stomach was okay. So it's just uh, a strange condition. Take the first left. Turn but I gotta like day, then take watch how I eat. In fact, I just ate some sun sunflower seeds and I feel a little ill already. The the dry roasted peanuts are okay. I really am uh, getting the impression that my stomach sickness is coming from uh, wet, greasy foods. I think I need to be eating more dry foods, dried out, <clears throat> because I think that's what my stomach desires is dryness. Okay, uh, just not too far. Okay, I, had, I saw a cop, so I was a little nervous. I'm not getting chased. Do I take it right here? Oh, I do. To get to the Walmart, I'm just getting around to the Walmart. I wasn't sleeping far. Oh, there it is. It's way over there. <clears throat> I wasn't sleeping too far away from the Walmart. Oh my God! I don't want to. I what? Uh, this is not it. Maybe. Oh no! I can go this way. Interesting. Yeah. After just. South Taylor Drive. Take the second left. I think I really need dry foods. Turn left on Germain Avenue. I just take the first left. Because those sunflower seeds are uh, roasted in oil, and I don't think I respond too well to oily, wet types of foods. Actually, the potatoes are wet. I boiled the potatoes, so it's, it's more a matter the first of line. foods that just. Uh, create mucus. I think uh, mucus-forming foods are are causing me a lot of problems.